Hello guys, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. I've got a new mini automatic antenna tuner, CGJ100. What's CGJ? CGJ is a part of the amateur radio call sign Bravo Hotel 8 Charlie Golf Juliet. That's Chinese radio amateur who is producing this mini antenna tuner. Basically, this is a project of another radio amateur with American call sign Nancy 7 Delta Delta Charlie, David Fainitsky. This is an open source project, hugely popular and pretty decently made antenna tuner. So I bought this by Bravo Hotel 8 CGJ because uh, I liked uh, the construction, I liked it's in the metal case, I like that it's got uh, two real antenna and transmitter connectors and um, I like most of all that it's got built-in battery in other words. But Achtung guys, this device is made in China, I bought it from China and in China you may find any quality you want or you are just happen to find. So I don't know what's the quality of the CGJ company yet. I never bought anything from him yet. So I have a rule. Any ham radio gear I buy from China, I open it up and thoroughly inspect for the quality of soldering, uh, for the missing parts probably, and for the general impression, so how thing is, uh, how does thing look inside. For this, I will need my trusty Radio Shack screwdriver. I might need soldering iron if I find something unsoldered or badly soldered. And let's do it and peek inside. By the way, the screws used in this construction to fix the front and back plates to the case are a bit unusual, at least for me. It seems like hexagon socket button head cap screw, which takes a special screwdriver bit. Luckily, I've got my original Radio Shack, the bit set from Radio Shack, which luckily got the necessary bit. So now the last two button head screws are left to unscrew. And when we do this, we will gain access to the printed circuit board of the tuner for proper investigation of the printed circuit board. So the last screw unscrewed. So now the front panel slides off from its place easily and now we gain access to the power supply cord which easily disconnects from the board and now the whole printed circuit board slides out of the case very nicely and by the way, a very wise decision to put the printed circuit board into the special grooves of the case. So now the tuner's PCB is ready for investigation. On the front side of the PCB, we see the um, OLED display just glued nicely to the front plate. Uh, we see here the connectors for the uh, display. The same connectors uh, could be used to, to connect the uh, Picket 3 programmer device uh, to, um, uh, to load, in case you need it, uh, to load uh, the uh, software uh, for this pic 16 f microprocessor, which sits here pretty nicely. The soldering is good. On this side, we see uh, the whole range of the uh, high voltage capacitors, ranging from 10 picofarads to 1000 picofarads. 
these capacitors are exactly uh, the capacitors which are switching to the scheme uh, to find the best tuning together with the range of uh, torate coils ferrite torate coils i'm not sure if these coils are original from amadon or it's kind of a chinese material it seems that 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 the coils should be should be okay but we only know this uh, when um, put the, the the tuner into a test what's there oh my god something wrong here i see that the uh, this wire which comes from the ground of the pcb is not connected to neither case of neither of these two pl259 antenna sockets it means that <laughs> that if you connect your transceiver to this um, to this uh, pl259 socket you would only connect the the uh, cable's central connector uh, without the shield and that's i think the um the, the tuner would not simply work in that case the same here with the antenna connector you would only connect one wire to the central central connector maybe it's okay for the long wire but if you would like to connect the uh, dipole then it would also not work because these two connectors physically uh, cases despite of being fixed to the front plate they are not physically I, I i tested for the continuity they are not physically connected to the ground uh, or, or here or here it's all ground uh, to the ground of the tuner so this somebody just forgot to solder up these three points together and this need to be fixed If we take a quick look at the bottom side of the printed circuit board of the tuner, we see that the soldering quality is quite good, except that the uh, soldering flux leftovers were not removed after finishing the soldering process. So, and we see the stains like that, leftovers of the soldering flux. This is not good. And these need to be removed. Isopropyl alcohol will help to solve this problem of cleaning. All right, so now that the tracks are clean, the loose ends fixed, the tuner is ready to be reassembled and put again into the case and go to the test. One important thing while reassembling, it's important to watch the direction of the top lid of the case. Uh, the side, uh, the, the battery's protection circuit board must face to the left towards the front plate. Otherwise, the grooves are not identical. The grooves uh, will, will, will not fit into each other. So this groove must go to that side and this groove must go into this. Uh, sight into this uh, groove so that's otherwise you won't be able to put the lid on simply and now it goes on very nicely so like that all right guys the last screw in we fix it and with this the first part of inspection and fixing of the tuner is finished let's power on we need to push and keep okay so the tuner is ready it is ready for testing but not in this in my next video so please stay tuned please consider subscribing if you want to be the first to know the results of testing and for now 73 see you later this is linas lima yankee 2 hotel